Yo, what is good, YouTube? I've been saying for weeks now that we're gonna get into some NBA. Let me bring this mic closer. We're gonna get into some NBA and the scrimmages have started. Nuggets, Wizards. If you're following along my channel for the rap freestyle reactions and you're here, please let me know that you're a fan of both. Um, if you're gonna stick around for the whole video. If you're coming for the basketball and you're into rap freestyle reaction type shit, I got a bunch of that, but we're gonna mix it up now. Gonna get both basketball and rap on the channel. Moving forward, let's get into the Nuggets and the Wizards highlights though. Let me tell you, I also have a podcast, The Bench Mob, and the only reason I say that, not to plug it, but when the video or when the picture first came out of Jokic being super skinny, the first thing I said was, oh, there, he's gonna be point guard. He's gonna do Giannis, he's gonna do LeBron, he's gonna do Simmons. He's just gonna say, height doesn't determine your position, skill set does. And he is the primary playmaker for this Nuggets team that is lacking a true playmaker at the point guard position, but they have Jokic. So why can't you play center on defense and point guard on offense? Now there's gonna be some mismatches on transition and, and stuff like that, that you're gonna have to um, manage the cross matches. But anyway, let's get into the highlights. This, I'm, I'm just saying, the picture came out and I said, the going point guard, these people are surprised. Their lineup was all six, seven and up people. Jeremy Grant at the two, Paul Millsap was the shortest person on the, uh, at their, in their starting lineup. And Bull Bull playing the three, Bull Bull was a steal. He, it's not a surprise that he was good. He was good, people. I don't know why he dropped. There was probably some sort of red flags. Anyway, the Wizards also played in this game too. Let's actually get to the highlights though. Um, getting excited already, man. The NBA being back is big time. All right. All right, all right. Let's 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 get to the highlights. I'm gonna do a little bit of commentating. I'm gonna do a little bit of just random thoughts. I'm gonna figure out how these reaction, highlight reactions are gonna work out. But the Wizards are really not gonna do anything in the bubble like really they don't need to either as we're gonna do our first run back here of this play Jokic look at him eye look at him eye the right side of the court and then toss it to Bol Bol see see how the see how the guy guarding Bol Bol that might be Shabazz Napier got on the on the mismatch there but there's a there's a short guy on Bol Bol Jokic gives a quick look Leaves that guy in his place because he could easily find the right wing corner, the right wing three. And just that little time allows the pass to go. Um, anyway, Jokic bring the ball up and making plays is amazing. We're going to talk about Bol Bol though. Bol Bol, six blocks, 16 points, first game. I mean, yeah, you're not going to say he's the best player or he's the missing piece to what the Nuggets needed off of one scrimmage after three months of people stopping play, I understand that, but it's better than him being really bad. <laughs> it's better than him being really bad on his first game back. Like his length is always gonna allow him to get blocks. Yes, he's thin, so he needs to build muscle, but that's always been the case. We knew that already. And. The thing is, he's so skilled. He can shoot. He can block. He has timing. No big man. There's very few big men who's going to block you on one end, get the board, bring it down the court, and then knock down a pull-up three at the other. No one does that. And he has the skill to be able to. Mason Plumley here making passes. And Mason Plumley can play the center, the secondary playmaker center role that Jokic created and made primary. But now Mason Plumlee is going to slide into the secondary as we're going to see this possession I'm talking about with Bol Bol pulling up after the block. I'm sure there's going to be a replay here. Long ass arms. Gets the stuff. Carry, but it's all good. <laughs> and then pulls up. You want him a little bit more balanced. He made the shot, but you want him a little bit more balanced. Go straight up and down instead of leaning forward, even if you're pulling up. But it's he's a, he's a rookie. He's a, he'll get better. He's super young. So much room to grow. Anyway, the Wizards making some plays here. Rui <sighs> gets stuffed. I thought that was going to be a Rui little, little block, but look how far away Bull Bull is from the shot. Look at this. See how far away he is? 
his wingspan covers so much ground. Look at that. It's insane what he's going to be able to do. And if they're going to play him at the three, that's what I've been saying too. For three years, I've been saying, again, on me on these podcasts that I'm talking about, if anyone's interested. Um, play down a position, man. Not, I'm, I'm not about this small ball. Small ball, the only reason small ball became a thing is because skill has started to become more valued and younger and shorter players had to rely more on skill development than bigger players who relied more on post and size and strength. But the best players will always be the ones that combine the size, length, and the skill. And that's just what we're seeing. It just started out with the small guys because those that's where the skill development was in terms of ball handling, dribbling, playmaking, shooting. Those are the skills that are more valuable in today's game. But if you're seven feet and can do this, that's better. If you're seven three and can do this, that's better. If you're eight foot and can do that, that's better. Every time. You can't teach seven feet is true, but you can teach all the skills. And the skills are what the seven footers weren't focusing on as much. The important skills, at least. You know, let's get back to the highlights. A little bit Jokic in the post. God damn. Shabazz or Ish Smith, one of the two, getting knocked up on the head. That's Ish. Jokic, still going to make plays from the post. A little rusty. Everyone's a little rusty. But you, you can see here, like, he's still pretty thick. Like, from this angle, he's not, he's not just going to get bullied around just because he lost some weight. Like, I guarantee you, he lost weight in a smart way and kept the muscle and lost the fat. He's so much more quick on his feet now. And I, this is sounding like a Nuggets episode. Um, I'm a lot more familiar with Nuggets than I am with the Wizards. I do love Thomas Bryant. I do like the potential of Rui. Bradley Beal is just not playing right now. Uh, Ish Smith is a great backup point guard. Shabazz Napier is a great backup point guard. Like They got a lot of great you know, second to third tier players and a couple that might become something else like Rui. I, I do think he has a lot of potential. Troy Brown Jr. can be a starting caliber wing player on a good team. I like Troy Brown. Uh, it's just, it's not going to come together this year, um, and I'm not really interested in all that much. I am interested in Isak Bonga's development. Again, Troy Brown, Bonga, Rui, these three at the 2-4 two, two, is, is an amazing building block to start from. I genuinely believe so. Beal obviously creates the star power. Bowl running the floor. Again, Bowl with the stuff. It's just too long. You can't get any. He's going to have the go bear effect. You're not even going to want to go into the rim. As long as he stays healthy and builds muscle, he's going to have the go bear effect, except he's going to knock down threes and he's going to be able to dribble. He's going to be able to. I feel like he's, he's going to flash his playmaking, too. Like he's just so multifaceted at his length that I'm just so pumped, so pumped to see what he's going to do. Here, Bobo gets a stolen, though. <laughs> Candy. Candy, who's that going all the way? Ish, getting the bucket. Rui, pump fake, gets all the way, uses his body. Jokic, poor defense there by Jokic. Bobol, corner three, spacing, knocks it down. The zoom call coming back in. The zoom call, people were hating on the zoom call. I didn't even listen to this. I didn't watch the full game, full disclosure. Um, I'll watch a full scrimmage here and there, but these highlights kind of give me what I need to see. Uh, at least from the scrimmage standpoint, uh, when the when the games start, I'll, I'll I'll catch the the full games. I have some game notes type videos if you've seen those earlier in the channel a couple months ago, um, and and we'll get to those too. Uh, is that Jeremy Grant pulling up? Jeremy Grant confident with the jump shot. Grant is gonna be a, I mean he's gonna be solid for them, especially like at the two, I don't mind Grant at the two. I don't mind Millsap or Bull Bull at the three and the other at the four. Like Jamal Murray's not playing, so like you're probably just gonna have Millsap start at the four with with Mason Plumley. if you are actually gonna go Jokic at the guard, then Murray there. Maybe Millsap at the five, Grant at the four. Maybe you do something like that. If Bull Bull's gonna continue like this, maybe Bull Bull, Millsap, and Mason, three, four, five, Jamal Murray be the short guy on the squad. Who knows? There's a lot of different options, and I'm just happy that they're not, they don't care that this isn't conventional. In fact, they probably love the fact that it's not conventional. Conventional doesn't get you 
to the next level. If you're not already the best. If you are the best, keep doing what you're doing. Stay conventional. If you're not the best, innovate and try to become the best in a new way. Is that Jerome? Jerome Robinson? I like that pickup for the Wizards too. I forgot what the actual trade was um, now in my mind, but um, Jerome Robinson sliding to the Wizards is decent. He's gonna he's gonna be able to show what he's capable of uh, in this Wizard system. The Clippers didn't really have room for him. Um, they're contending. He's a rookie. He's young. Like he needs some more development and time. Uh, he's weak on the defensive end, which is not a problem for the Wizards. <laughs> <laughs> bull bull right here with the nasty nasty pull up i guess he got helped by the slip there um who, who slipped who is that grant is that jeremy grant chicago bulls legend jeremy grant his brother oh no jerrian sorry that's jerrian this is jeremy jeremy's on the nuggets my bad i'm getting i'm getting it messed up uh i think i think that is jerry and grant though as we get to the last minutes of this Nuggets Wizards game. Honestly, well, let's ride the video out, why not? Let's talk about just what we're expecting. I'm gonna be doing a lot of these highlight reactions, a lot of them. I'm also gonna keep doing these freestyle reactions. The Wizards really shouldn't be here. Denver might surprise. Um, they're the one team that I was like, eh, like the Rockets probably have their number. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, if Doncic kind of took over against the Nuggets and Porzingis kind of did work. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. The Jazz, I probably put lower. I feel like the Jazz are probably the lowest, the worst playoff team in my mind right now. Like, even the Grizzlies probably have a shot. The Pelicans probably have a shot against the Jazz. I would say the Pelicans probably have a shot against the Nuggets too. But if the Nuggets kind of change stuff up, really play like they know how, and, and Skinny Jokic just does things that we never expected, um... They have a shot. Doing things that you don't know the outcome of is always intriguing to me. Uh, so the Nuggets are my team too. After the Bulls, after the Bulls, clearly it's a rep. They're not in the Orlando, but Nuggets are my Western Conference team, mostly because of Jamal Murray, uh, Jokic. Love those guys. Um, anyway, Bobo go with the final second block as well to cap it off on a six block debut. Uh, to NBA courts there. Uh, it is scrimmage. No, none of this really counts. Um, it is what it is. But we're here. NBA is back, baby. And I'm back to basketball. I'm excited to get back. I took a little bit of a break. Uh, and let, as the beat rides out, let me say peace out uh, to y'all. Hit the sub, hit the comment, hit the like. Uh, we're going to continue with some new shit. All right. Peace out.